As a local GP, Billy Stupas loves his job, but the passion is waning. The Medicare rebate hasn't kept up with inflation rates and people's pay and just life in general. It makes running the business and the viability of a business quite challenging. One of the things we do worry about is how we're going to sustain this. So, you know, inflation's going up the highest it's been in 30 years. You know, people's salaries, they want them to go up to go up with inflation. And I want to pay my staff more. One of the issues is I'm not getting paid more. He says the Medicare indexation freeze on the amount the government reimburses appointments means his practice is struggling to break even. I think if there's no increase, like every other area, if there's no uh, supplemented income, it's just going to be passed on to the patients, which means those patients probably won't be able to afford it. And that just means, unfortunately, more strain on the hospital system, which then means it's going to end up costing the taxpayers a lot more dollars. Dr Stupas says the profession is no longer seen as a lucrative career path for young graduates. A lot of younger doctors coming through the system want to be able to have good income and a good lifestyle. I think GP used to offer that, but now you take the lifestyle balance, but you take the money cut. And I think that's just unfortunately being reflected in the number of graduates going through into general practice. Find a GP who you can talk to easily and trust. Across the country, many GPs say they're doing it tough and can no longer afford the bulk billing model. Some GPs will use the Medicare benefit to cover the full cost of your appointment, so you won't need to pay anything. This is called bulk billing. Last year, the federal government acknowledged a 4% drop in doctors' bulk billing, but the Royal Australian College of GPs believes the figure will grow. General practice has been undervalued and underfunded for a long time. It's just this constant barrage uh, from, from government that, you know, we need to keep doing more, but we can't keep doing more if we're not funded. The peak body says the Medicare indexation freeze has heaped more pressure on the health system, with patients flooding emergency departments instead of visiting their GPs. The college is now calling on the government to lift the Medicare rebate, but also the bulk billing incentive for doctors. So the Medicare rebate actually belongs to the patient. It is what the government pays the patient after they've seen their doctor. Bulk billing means that the doctor accepts that as full payment for the consultation. What's important for people to understand, it's the patient's rebate and the government not keeping up with the cost of, of healthcare is really impacting on the patient. Are you ready to come in now? Yes. Come on to please. The federal government has set up a task force to improve the system. Dr Danielle McMullen from the Australian Medical Association is one of the advisors. We really will need more ongoing investment to make sure that general practice is adequately supported to be able to take care of patients when they need it most. The AMA is also urging the government to increase Medicare rebates. We do think there needs to be additional investment in those rebates and also a rebalancing of those so that longer consultations are better remunerated. At the moment, uh, the, the fee structure really uh, incentivises shorter consultations, which does make it difficult for patients who need to have that longer consultation and more time with their doctor. And the key there really is also making sure that there's adequate indexation. So whatever number we pick today is out of date by tomorrow unless there's policy to make sure that it keeps pace with the cost of living and the cost of providing medical care. The AMA's found allies in the nation's two most powerful state premiers who've set aside their political differences to put pressure on the Commonwealth. Medicare is broken and it needs to be fixed. We are not asking for more money. We're asking for a better federal system. But Terry Barnes, who worked as an advisor to former Health Minister Tony Abbott, says the states are shifting the blame. The Premiers of New South Wales and Victoria are actually playing politics on this. They're not actually coming up with real solutions. They're just having a bit of a whinge about funding and using uh, Medicare and bulk billing and saying that the lack of bulk billing practices uh, means people go and knock on the doors of public hospital emergency departments. I think that's, that's not true. I think if you look at where and when patients go to accident emergency, it tends to be outside standard hours, you know, in, in the evenings and nights, weekends. It's not, uh, it's not a question of affordability for most people, it's a question of accessibility. Mr Barnes has long advocated for a small co-payment from patients for GP appointments and says an increase in the Medicare rebate won't achieve much. It's not a question of how much you paid for doing something, it's a question of being there to do it. 
And one of the problems, I think, one of the challenges is that GPs especially really don't want to work in the way that doctors have worked in the past. They want to, they want to have a family life. They want a lifestyle outside their job. Uh, you can't guarantee that paying more money is going to keep them in the surgery during standard hours and certainly not get them into the surgery after hours. Medicare reform will be one of the items on the table when National Cabinet meets in Canberra on the 1st of February. I think there needs to be an increase in pay and then that will have a flow on effect. So if you give a GP practice more income, they then can pay their staff more, which leads to better retention rates, which leads to better job satisfaction. It means to maybe being able to hire another nurse, which means maybe being able to see more patients and service the community better.